Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can send something from one website to your email or you can send someone an email, um, send an item to somebody through an email from one website. Um, so let's get started. So um, I'm just going to be using, let me get this out of the way. I'm always having pop-ups. Okay, so sorry about that. I'm going to be using Walmart so because it is the holiday season. So say that you are having a wish list for your birthday or um, Christmas, or you want to share your daughter's wish list or something like that. Um, we're going to find an item. Let's just click on this. And Frozen is very popular. And Frozen 2 just recently came out. I actually seen it with my godson um, two weeks ago. It was pretty good. So <laughs> let's scroll down. And we're going to just click on a random object. So say that she wants to, you have a daughter and she wants to play dress up more. And she wants the Anna nightgown for her dress up item. We're just going to click on that. And we're going to do the same thing that we did in the other tutorial on how to save images. So we're going to um, scroll. We're going to have our um, cursor on the um, item. You know, this little black thingy right here that's moving around. And we're going to click on the Alt button, ALT. Hold it down and click on the keypad. Okay. All right, so there it is. So we're going to click on Save As. And right here where it's highlighted, this is the item. This is going to be the photo and we're going to save that. And you want to, I'm sorry, you want to let go of your finger from the alt button once you have that um, item highlighted inside that box so that it can work because it may not work if you have your finger held down on the alt button once you need to save it. You just need to hold down the alt button to be able to click on um, to have the options pop up. Okay, so we have that done. And even if you want to have the website, I'm going to show you that as well. If you want to send the whole website to someone so that they could be able to go to the same site that you've seen, you all you have to do is um, click it one time and then it will highlight this, the website um, link. And you want to hold down the up button and then click again while you're still holding down the up, up button and click copy. So I'm going to show you how to do both in the same email. So then you're going to open up your email. So this is my email right here. I'm just going to send it to myself. So let's go to, um, let's find how to send a regular email. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. All you have to do is go to Compose. And then you write in the, the first thing. So Compose, if you have Gmail, hopefully you, you do because um, I only have Gmail at the moment. Gmail will be right here on the left-hand side and it'll have this colorful plus sign and it'll say Compose right under the logo Gmail. It's right here where you see the hand look, um, symbol. You'll click that and then it'll pop up over here on the right side. So you want to, on the two, you want to type in the person's address, email address. So I'm just going to type in my own. And then um, to 
Okay, let's get this out of the way. To add that image, we're going to click on Attach Files, which is, it looks like a Bob, um, not Bobby Pant. It looks like, um, what is the word? Oh my God. It looks like this right here where you see my hand at. I'm sorry, I can't think of the word right now. And I can't really edit this video on this laptop. So we're going to click on that. It looks like the office item where it holds the different pitch of uh, the different papers. I can't think of the name right now for some reason. Um, paper clip. It looks like a paper clip. So then we're going to find the item. So it's right here. Frozen to Anna. We're going to click on that. And then we're going to um, click on open. And you see that it's downloading to the email file. So it's in there. And then we're also going to send the link. So we're going to, okay, let me show you guys what I just did. We're going to put down, use the arrow, right? And then click. We're going to use the Alt button and hold the Alt button down again. Click. And we're going to put paste. So pasting is just going to paste the item that you just um, copied. So you're basically copy and pasting. So paste that. So you see the website that you went to is now right here. So if you wanted someone to see um, what you've seen on the website, all you have to do is copy and paste the link in the email and they'll be able to um, click on it and go to the same website that you went to. Or if you just want them to see um, a photo of something that you've seen on the website or you want to send them a photo through email, all you have to do is what I just did with um, saving the image and then um, attaching the I, attaching the file to the email. So we're going to click, let me get this out the way so you can see. Now you see this blue button right here that says send. We're going to send and this is going to, and you can also put a subject if you want to. I'm not because I'm just sending it to myself. Well, for example, let's just put uh, wish list. So that would be the subject if you were sending it to someone else. If you want to add a subject so they can know what it is before they open it. So now that we did both options, you could do either one or you could do both in the email at the same time. We're going to send it. Click send. So it should be to the person within a few minutes. Let's see if it's sent yet. So you see me because I'm sending it from the same email to this email. I'm going to click on it and let's click on, um, you could just open it. The person can just open it up or they could click download to um, download the photo to their, um, their laptop or computer or whatever they're using. So I can't just preview it on a Chromebook. I would have to download it if someone did this. Um, get send it to me like that. So we're going to click on download. So it's complete and now I can see it if I click on it. So see the same photo is now here with me. I can see the whole entire um, web page by just clicking on um, the, photo, the photo that was sent. The item <laughs> the photo of the item that was sent, I can now see it. I can see the whole entire page. So that's awesome. And let's see if I click on the link, what will happen. So let's click on the link one time. So with clicking on the link, I can see a little bit more. I get the whole entire website and I have the option of buying the item if I want to. So, and this is also good. Um, well, you could just do a registry if you have a baby shower, but if you have like a housewarming and somebody says, what exactly do you want? I want to buy you exactly what you want. You can do this. All right, you guys. So I just showed you how you can send an item through an email from one website to your email, sending emails to other people or even to yourself. Um, I showed you how you can see the link and how you can send just a photo. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Make sure to give this video a like if it was helpful for